It is 634 now and a breast cancer diagnosis is of course never easy for a woman to hear. It usually means months or even years of medical procedures and surgeries. After the last surgery to remove the cancer though, some women opt for one more step. Creme 2's Rob Harris found this story outside the walls of the hospital. The journey for a breast cancer patient is full of surprises. Joanne Stebbins, J-O-A-N-N-S-T-E-B-B-I-N-S. -N -N -E and when were you diagnosed? Um, actually, I found the lump myself around the first week in April, but they had me in surgery by the 7th of June, which was uh, to me really fast because I really just wanted it gone. That, mm -hmm. that was my, my motive was, okay, it's there. All right, I accept that, get rid of it. Stebbins is waiting for another procedure today. Procedures, she's had plenty of them. This one though, has her feeling... A little nervous, <laughs> not knowing. Good thing she's got support waiting in the wings. Her family, her doctor, and... Cindy Markey, C-I-N-D-Y-M-A-R-K-E-E. -E. And when were you diagnosed with breast cancer? It'll be a year ago, April 19th. It's news that women don't want to hear. But I had a really good supportive um, group. My family was awesome. And um, I've got the best surgeons that you could ever ask for. And how are you feeling today? I feel great today. <laughs> Marky and Stebbins didn't know each other before they met today. But they share a diagnosis. And they share a doctor. Dallas Buchanan, D-A-L-L-A-S-B-U-C-H-A-N-A-N. This process can be really long for patients, and, uh, and it's obviously an emotional process for them. And I think, um, you know, when they get to the very last part of this process, they've often undergone multiple operations, and it's sort of the last piece of the puzzle for them. That last piece of the puzzle was the one part Buchanan wanted to entrust to someone else. So he found the guy sitting next to him. Caleb Fry, C-A-L-E-B-F-R-E-Y. I was actually excited because I had been trying to get into it for a while and all these other doctors said they would never send their patients to a tattoo shop. So I was like, I just figured it was over, it was done. So when he called me, I was like, I was very excited. I'd wanted to try to find someone to do sort of the last piece of the reconstruction puzzle, which is the nipple tattoo. And um, there are several people sort of in the medical space that do that work, um, but they're not all very good at it. And so my goal was to try to find an artist to do the art part. Marky has had her tattoos, which makes her feel complete. I wanted to try to look as real and natural as I did, you know, before the surgeries. And um, having the tattooing done just kind of, I mean, that was my last step for me and being whole and complete again. Now it's Stebbins' turn. What would you say is the hardest part of this whole thing that she's about to do? Undressing in front of a strange man. Oh, well, <laughs> and, and understandable. For me, for me, you lose that completely with all the all the hospitals and mm -hmm. doctors and stuff. That it's not a big deal <laughs> to do. This ain't your first rodeo. It is not. <laughs> so, what's the general color that we're looking at? Is it lighter, darker? A light pink. A light pink. A light pink for the outside, and then a darker in the middle. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, here we go. Okay. So we packed up our cameras and left for the actual tattooing, of course. But I did uh, hear from her daughter on Facebook after the fact, and she said it went well, and her mom loves the way that it turned out. That closure, uh, like she was saying in the interview, so. And this is a fairly new trend. I mean, 10, 20 years ago, this was not happening very much. Yeah, I don't think so. And uh, especially here in Spokane, because uh, as you heard in that story, Dr. Buchanan was looking for a tattoo artist to complete this after he found out the doctors would do it. But, you know, going to medical school doesn't necessarily enable you to do yeah. a tattoo. Right. And mm -hmm. so that's where Caleb Fry felt like he had specific talents that could help here and all the women are definitely agreeing with that, so. It's nice that all of these different parts of our community could come together and make this happen. Totally, and yeah, it's just awesome to see so many people getting that closure that they were looking mm -hmm. for. We love it, Rob, thank you so much for bringing us that story. It is